Uh, yeah, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Karolina Sliva. I'm a PhD candidate at the Institute of Complex Network uh, at the University of Economics and Business in Vienna. And yeah, I'm very excited to be here and looking forward for a full workshop session today. Um, without further ado, I would like to um, show you, present to you a joint work of uh, me, Emma and Mark titled a uh, case study comparing Twitter communities detected by Louvain and Leiden algorithms during the Ukraine war. So let me start actually with a question to you guys. Have you ever wondered how communities form online on social media platforms? Since in our digital fascinating landscape, um, social media platforms such as Twitter, as was mentioned before, um, TikTok, Instagram, have become crucial communication hubs fostering uh, communities actually worldwide, especially during crisis situations such as war. Uh, however, yet within this vast uh, expanse of social network, a complex web of uh, social connect, uh, connection emerges, making it kind of difficult at the very beginning to grasp the cohesive structure inside. Um, and exactly in this particular situation, community detection algorithms come in handy because they help us understand and uncover those cohesive structures within um, the network itself. Uh, so in our article, uh, we uh, compared two prominent community detection algorithms, Louvain and Leiden. Both of, both of those algorithms are, the names are based on the cities where they were created. Um, with the aim to assess the efficiency of detected communities by those two algorithms. Uh, you probably wonder why those two. Let me ask, uh, answer that question. So um, let's start with Louvain, actually. Louvain ha has been already proven as a um, quite good community detection algorithm. But what is most important for our situation here is the fact that it has been verified in large-scale directed networks, uh, which is the case uh, of our case study. It is based on um, modularity, which essentially, uh, modularity op optimization, which um, essentially tries to maximize the uh, connections and the density of connections within uh, communities while minimizing the connections between them. And it is doing so uh, through two phases, local moving uh, of nodes, which basically is shifting nodes from community uh, from one community to another with trying to maximize the um, uh, optimization faction and later aggregation of the network which is basically creating the aggregated version of uh, our network of the partitions that were detected um, however Louvain um, even though it's quite simplistic in the concept it has a uh, a drawback, which is a tendency to generate large communities that consist of significant portion of nodes, which uh, essentially means if we would have, for example, small communities that could exist, usually what the Louvain would do, it will merge those smaller communities into bigger one, um, leading potentially, potentially to um, not so well uh, connected communities, or even sometimes disconnected. And um, to address this challenge, Leiden algorithm has been created, uh, proposed by Track et al. Um, and it's a refinement version over uh, Louvain. It is also based on modularity. Um, and it's um, based on three phases. So a speed up version of local moving of nodes based, based on ran randomness. So assigning the nodes into communities based on uh, randomness and the refinement of this partition and aggregation. So creation of our network. Um, our research uh, was guided by two questions. So how do Louvain and Leiden algorithms compare in effectively detecting communities? 
and do topical similarities exist among those detected communities. Uh, before I dwell into our research procedure, let me give you some context about the data. So picture this, um, in early 2022, uh, Ukraine war just began, and our um, data set and our focus of our research is exactly in this initial phase, and the directed and weighted network that was a scrape using Twitter API when it was still possible, um, exactly from this initial phase of the Ukraine war. Um, let's go uh, and dive into our research procedure. It was uh, divided into five phases. The first one being data extraction and modeling of our network. Um, phase three deals with community detection using both Leiden and uh, Louvain. Uh, after that, uh, we compare the efficiency of uh, algorithms, but also the detected communities. And within the phase, uh, f uh, f five, f phase five, we uh, try to use uh, communities as uh, a context matrix in order to see if there are any topic similarities uh, between communities detected by Louvain and Leiden. So we extracted data um, that is kind of usually uh, done based on hashtag and key terms uh, that led us to 189 million tweets in English language. Uh, and we cover, as mentioned at the beginning, the initial phase of the Ukrainian war, so the first month. And here is the example of um, some tweets. Um, so as you can see, there are um, very popular hashtags used such as Stand with Ukraine or Stop Putin or Stop Russia. Um, just a quick remark, uh, with this research we didn't use the images um, that will be actually, that will follow in the future work. I will uh, talk about this in a few minutes. Um, yeah, so within the phase two, we model our network, so we derived the at mentioned network using source target and time step of our tweets. Source being the screen name of uh, author who uh, of author who created the tweet, as on the example uh, here. Target being a screen name of a user being mentioned and the time step of uh, creation of the tweet. So our network uh, was directed and weighted. Weight being uh, the number of messages exchanged between the pair of nodes, so be between the source and the target. Uh, after that, we performed backboning to remove the redundant um, or randomly formed connection, and that led us to uh, more than 3 million nodes and uh, 27 million edges. Yeah, in order to um, describe the top uh, topological characteristics of uh, our network. We um, chose very classical uh, metric, uh, um, network metrics. Uh, I won't describe all of them, just a few, just to give you the idea of a flavor, uh, what type of network we are dealing here uh, with. Um, so first, let's look at density. As you can see, the average density is quite small, which means basically that our networks has fewer connections relatively to total possible connections that exist in the network. Um, in terms of average clustering coefficient, it's again, it reflects quite moderate degree of local connectivity among the um, neighboring nodes. And finally, uh, looking at the strongly connected components, uh, we can tell that we have numerous of internal uh, connected uh, cohesive subgroups. However, if you look um, one row below at the weakly connected uh, components, the number is significantly larger. Um, so what it means in general is that uh, our network is dispersed and less interconnected, um, which kind of goes with um, the cycle of um, evolutions of such events, meaning that it's a constantly evolving network, especially uh, when looking at leaks form uh, formation among newly emerged users during this initial stage. So uh, while this network can actually uh, exhibit um, 
yeah, diverse and variable connected components, the detection of communities remains vital because we still cannot just tell by uh, looking at our network that there are no community patterns there. Uh, here is an example of a Zoom of our network on 28th of um, February 2022. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let me now discuss the community detection by both algorithms. So as you can see, um, Louvain detected a significantly uh, larger number of communities especially by looking at the first day, because uh, the maximum uh, of detected communities was actually on the first day, and it went uh, above 180,000 communities. Um, Leiden, in this case, detected only 60,000, only 60,000 communities in the first day. Um, one interpretation can be that actually Leiden detected uh, more densely and tightly packed communities in comparison to Louvain. Uh, and actually, uh, looking at the membership characteristics, we, we proved that. So Louvain generated communities with a smaller mo membership size. Leiden, on the other hand, generated communities with a bigger membership size. So just to give you the example, on the first day, uh, when we look at 180,000 communities, um, the average number of members per community was um, five, around five. Uh, however, in Leiden it was 15. And what we observed later uh, was uh, that with Louvain we experienced less fluctuations in terms of membership size, that on average never fell below five members. And with Leiden actually we observed a continuous slight growth uh, in the membership size. Now looking at the efficiency of algorithms, um, first a modularity. So as you can see, Leiden here outperformed Louvain, um, showing a much higher internal cohesion with the detected communities, uh, which kind of goes with the notions of the um, Leiden um, community detection algorithm that it has this uh, emphasis on more densely connected and uh, distinct communities. In terms of execution time, again, uh, Leiden uh, outperform um, Louvain with uh, on average um, only 22 seconds to detect community with low variability. Uh, and on the other hand, we can see that Louvain, which is the black graph, um, has a weight range of computational duration. And additionally, on average, it took uh, 80 seconds um, uh, for Louvain to detect the communities. Uh, and again, these findings ag uh, align with uh, actually Leiden, Leiden being more scalable than Louvain. And of course, um, now we will move to the phase five. Uh, in the normal uh, circumstances, comparing a comparison of such communities will be done with benchmarking. But uh, because we are dealing here with social network that doesn't have ground truth, um, this is as far as, as we go here. Uh, so, uh, within our phase uh, five, we focus on dynamic topic modeling and we aim to compare largest communities identified by both algorithms. So, we focused on five communities recognized in a final five day snapshot because, um, as you saw probably on the graph, uh, we had uh, much less communities and much less membership size. Uh, which help us actually with a challenge of uh, computational power to detect the temporality of uh, topics within our, our communities. So we use those communities as context metric, uh, metrics for examining the differences in, uh, in the same data frame uh, and uh, in the same data and in, in the same time frame. And yeah, we used a uh, bare topic dynamic topic modeling to do so to see this evolution of topics over time. Um, so here is an example of 
just the first community that was detected on um, by, by Leiden algorithm on 24th of February. And I highlighted here for you just 10 topics that existed in um, uh, in this just one community out of 60,000 communities, uh, which just shows you that uh, obviously one community won't discuss just few topics, but more than 10 even. Uh, but let me go into a more um, um, uh, concrete examples. So uh, here are the topics that were um, detected uh, for our top Leiden communities. In general, uh, we detected uh, uh, 424 topics. As you can see, majority of uh, our topics is quite stable. However, there is this one beautiful outlier that I would like to focus on now. So as you can see, this topic um, has a frequency of mentioning this topic within the community, surpassing 15,000 uh, uh, mentions. Uh, so it underwent the decline and suddenly vanished. So we were sa starting to wonder, um, did members merge, for example, with another community or they just simply disappeared? Um, Moving to Louvain top, com, uh, top five communities, in general, uh, again, we detected 355 topics, which is a little bit less than uh, with uh, Leiden. Um, and also, additionally, we observed a uh, um, smaller frequency, which might be basically due, due to the, the fact that um, Leiden has a um, bigger membership size and uh, Louvain smaller. And again, let me just focus on um, one example here. Um, so as you can see, here is uh, one topic, topic five, that um, emerged in the midday on 21st of March. Uh, that was a content praising Putin. It rose for a day, then dropped significantly. And again, we started to wonder um, this if this shift is linked to some members dynamic in the community, so uh, some a shrinkage or disappearing of community, or those uh, are those members joining or leaving the community? Um, and now uh, going through the conclu conclusion, so um, Louvain identified significant, uh, significantly larger number of communities, um, Leiden smaller, much smaller. In terms of membership size, Louvain uh, generated smaller memberships uh, and that were um, lower in the internal cohesion in comparison to Leiden. In terms of um, execution time, uh, Leiden outperformed Louvain uh, with average of um, 20 seconds to detect the communities. Um, and in terms of topic, uh, we observed a uh, higher frequency in Leiden in comparison to uh, lower frequency in Louvain. In terms of our future work, we would like to explore and follow the steps of Gao and all um, in detecting the community dynamics and temporality within the communities in this data set. And additionally, trying to link um, topics and um, disappearing or um, or um, shrinking, splitting the topics, um, and kind of linking it into those um, evolution of communities. Uh, additionally, we want to expand our data set. So so far, we were dealing just with a month of a data. Uh, we want to expand it into a year. Um, and additionally, adding image object detection. So as mentioned at a certain point, adding those images and links um, to websites to um, um, make the, the content and topic modeling uh, more representative. Um, that's it from my side. I think I was quite fast or not, I'm not sure. Uh, if there are any questions, um, yeah, go ahead. We can also have a chat during the coffee break. I don't mind. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank so you.